Welcome to today's episode of The LinkedIn Marketer. My name is Karen Hollenbach and I'm excited to share this episode with you because it's all about how to clean up your LinkedIn newsfeed so you can make the most of your time when you're on LinkedIn. Cleaning up or curating your LinkedIn newsfeed is a favorite topic of mine when I'm training people on the development of their LinkedIn profile strategy. So because a lot of the people I work with that are at a senior level or they are subject matter experts or maybe they also identify as thought leaders, whatever words you want to use to describe people who have knowledge that they can share with others and add value to people's own professional experience, they're busy and they generally don't feel that favourable or have much of a loving feeling towards LinkedIn. It's like the thing you have to do uh, to remain, uh, I guess, top of mind for your community. So when I show them how to curate or clean up their LinkedIn newsfeed, it is a game changer and it starts to nurture a bit more of a loving feeling towards LinkedIn because they are getting greater control of what they see in their LinkedIn home feed, what comes through their news feed, the posts that they see. And it means that the time that they are spending on LinkedIn is time better spent because it's focused on their LinkedIn profile strategy in the context of the types of topics that they're interested in engaging with and the industry news that they're seeing. So today's episode is all about walking you through how to have that same Uh, game-changing LinkedIn user experience by taking better control over what you see when you're on LinkedIn. One of the reasons I enjoy spending time on LinkedIn is because it's an incredibly easy way for me to stay informed, read the latest news and updates and industries I work with and learn what's happening right now. So from your LinkedIn profile newsfeed, and I'll probably interchange the word newsfeed and home feed. It basically means the same thing. When you're logged into your LinkedIn profile, you're looking at the the updates from other people, either from your phone or your desktop. So from this place, you can like and comment on people's updates who are in your network, accept invitations to connect, read great articles on newsletters. You might tune into audio events if anyone in your uh, network, your LinkedIn community is doing that. Uh, watch any informative videos you might have registered for events or LinkedIn Lives, cheer colleagues from the sidelines, which is one of my favourite things to do. Or you might uh, see a really interesting update and forward that content in LinkedIn messaging uh, privately to one of your connections. They might be looking for a new job or it might be an article that they can weigh in on if it's in their subject area of uh, subject matter expertise. You can save posts, which a lot of us do if we are Uh, content creators or we're we're responsible for the management of LinkedIn company pages uh, of which we want it to find useful uh, curated content to share on that page that adds value to our community Um, and we can save those posts if we just want to you know we're about to go into a meeting we just want to read or watch them later and there's also you can put in hashtags in search so there's a lot of ways you can Uh, Well, there's a lot of things you can consume on LinkedIn. So the key is to have uh, refined, curated, cleaned up your newsfeed. So what's coming to you is relevant because LinkedIn is like a virtual library for industry news and it's an office corridor where you're constantly passing extremely interesting people and listening in or um, contributing to interesting conversations. And it's not like other more social platforms Uh, where you can waste a lot of time scrolling through mind-numbing information and fake news. So we're going to learn how to take control of or better control. You can't have full control because there are still going to be promoted posts coming through your LinkedIn news feed. Um, We're going to look at how to do that. And if you clean up your news feed and have a clearer sense of purpose, that's where your LinkedIn experience will improve significantly and provide you with the industry news, the global and thought-provoking insights, the competitor intelligence and valuable content you can save and then reshare via your profile or LinkedIn page. So I'm going to walk you through seven simple steps to help you clean up or curate your LinkedIn newsfeed. Step one, 
establish a LinkedIn strategy. So I want you to get as much value from your LinkedIn experience as possible. And it starts with a game plan. So before diving into the process of cleaning up your newsfeed, consider developing a clear strategy for your time on LinkedIn. So you can ask yourself questions like, what do I want to be the go-to for when people think of me? What are the topics or areas of expertise that I want them to uh, be familiar with or associate with my professional brand? What topics do I want to lead, research or contribute to on LinkedIn? And so this strategic approach will help you focus on relevant content, making your LinkedIn experience more purposeful. The second thing I'd like you to do is unfollow some of your connections. So if you if you find your newsfeed is inundated with irrelevant updates, start by unfollowing connections whose content no longer aligns with your interests. Now to do this, simply click on the three dots next to a post on the right hand side, select unfollow, and you can regain control over your newsfeed and not have to see those updates. Now importantly, This step ensures that while you might not see or you will not see this particular person's uh, or this connection's updates, you will still be connected with them on LinkedIn and they certainly will not receive a notification saying that you didn't want to follow their updates. And maybe there are some people who you really do want to make sure you see the updates uh, that they share on LinkedIn. So that's where step three comes in. And what I want you to do is follow and ring the bell of those people's LinkedIn profiles to make sure you are notified of those updates in your notification settings. And in that way, we are cutting through the LinkedIn algorithm and making sure that we're being notified of either their top posts or their highlight posts. So this really does enhance the quality of your LinkedIn news feed by actively following industry influencers, news sources. So you can do it for company pages as well um, and connections whose content you value. And importantly, if you're in a group and it's a really important networking group for you, you can also ring the bell of that group when you're in it. And in that way, you will get the notifications to ensure that you stay, um, you're informed about their updates. So whether it's individuals, companies, educational institutions, groups, this feature of ringing the bell and getting the notifications in your notification feature of your profile, but rather than in the, the relying on the news feed, allows you to tailor and refine your news feed to include content that matters to you when you're on LinkedIn. Step four is about aligning your feed with your interests. So what I want you to do is review the sources of information you currently subscribe to outside of LinkedIn and make sure you're following the individuals and companies that contribute to these sources, both from an individual and organizational perspective. And you can utilize LinkedIn's search function to discover content and discussions relating to your interests, um, therefore really narrowing your focus for a more tailored news feed. And let's say in the strategy step, step number one, you've, you've wanted to explore a particular topic, you could put that topic in the search. So let's say uh, digital minimalism, which is a favorite topic of mine, you could look up that hashtag and that would show you all the content on LinkedIn where people are using that particular hashtag, which will help you find new voices and contributors on LinkedIn in your areas of interest. So I've just mentioned this idea of topics and hashtags, and this is where step five comes in. So it's focusing on relevant topics. So what I want you to do here is identify the key topics that resonate with your professional goals and the communities you aim to influence or you'd like to get into conversations with on LinkedIn. So that could be industry trends, legislative changes, or niche discussions. And I encourage you to narrow that down to probably between three and five topics. And in this way, this targeted approach ensures that your engagement aligns with your objectives and builds your authority in specific areas. And if you have creator mode, you could also think about choosing to have the five topics that you talk about being aligned to these relevant topics that you've chosen in step five. 
step six is all about being a strategic content curator. Now, what do I mean by that? So by following authoritative sources, you can stay informed about the latest industry trends without having to create content yourself. So reposting or resharing relevant updates demonstrates your expertise and adds value to your network. Because the thing to remember is that your LinkedIn activity, including comments and reposts, do also contribute to building your professional image. So if you're the sort of person who doesn't have time or the inclination or headspace or capacity to be creating original content on a regular basis, this idea of step six and being a strategic content curator is a really good one for you to consider in your LinkedIn strategy. The seventh step is all about remembering that LinkedIn at its heart is a professional networking platform. And in that way, it's different to more social platforms. But the idea is that you engage with other people's content and also contribute by commenting. So this idea is to stay meaningfully connected on LinkedIn. So after cleaning up your newsfeed, Leverage LinkedIn by staying connected with your professional community. Yes, share value, valuable content on the newsfeed, but this step is suggesting that you also share it privately through LinkedIn messaging. And in that way, you can foster meaningful conversations. So I'm not saying send salesy transactional messages. What I am saying is if you see content coming through your LinkedIn newsfeed that you think someone else would be really interested in, make sure you share it privately with them. So whether it's a colleague's article or a resource relevant to a client, this personalised sharing approach strengthens your connections. There we have it, seven ways to approach cleaning up your newsfeed on LinkedIn to enhance your LinkedIn user experience. So taking the time to refine your LinkedIn newsfeed not only enhances your experience on the platform, but it also helps you engage with content that aligns with your professional goals. So it's a strategic approach and it reduces the pressure to create content while allowing you to stay top of mind with your network. So embrace these steps to unlock the full potential of LinkedIn for your professional goals. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review and share this podcast with your friends and colleagues. If you'd like to learn more about how to leverage LinkedIn, I'd love to be your guide. Sign up to my e-insights, my monthly newsletter that's packed with LinkedIn tips, thought starters and exclusive subscriber offers. If you're just starting out on your LinkedIn journey, I'm so glad you've found me and I recommend you check out my LinkedIn Profile Essentials online course. If you want to be the go-to for your organization's LinkedIn presence, I recommend you check out my LinkedIn Marketing Mentoring Program. Mm-hmm.